Welcome to the Powerful by Faith Convention of Jehovah's Witnesses. You'll certainly be happy that you made the effort to attend all three days of this convention. The expression, powerful by faith, is drawn from the Apostle Paul's words at Romans chapter 4 and verse 20. Why did the governing body choose faith as the theme for this year's convention? Clearly, to receive Jehovah's blessing and gain the reward of everlasting life, we need to build and maintain faith. At Romans chapter 1, verse 17, quoting the prophet Habakkuk, Paul wrote, The righteous one will live by reason of faith. With these words, Paul emphasized that Jehovah will reward all who show real faith. Based on our faith in Jesus' ransom, Jehovah forgives our sins and grants us a righteous standing with him even now. And during Armageddon, Jehovah will protect God's people and then give them the opportunity to live forever in paradise. But constant pressure from Satan and the demons, the old world and our own imperfections, can weaken and wear down our faith. The purpose of this convention is to strengthen that faith. We'll learn how to cultivate true faith how to exercise it in our daily lives, and how to maintain it during difficult times. So please, pay close attention to each part of the program. As scriptures are read, follow along in the Bible. And may God's Word empower you to be a man, woman, or child of faith. So we're still in Mark Sanderson's talk at the beginning of the 2021 Powerful by Faith convention, but we're just deviating slightly with yet another introduction. Mark Sanderson is introducing the convention, but apparently Jeffrey Jackson also needs to introduce the convention, hence the video that we've just seen. And there were three things that really stood out in what Jeffrey Jackson was saying there. First of all, you'll have noticed the part where he says, You'll certainly be happy that you made the effort to attend all three days of this convention. You'll certainly be happy that you made the effort to attend all three days of this convention. Is it me viewers, or is that not an incredibly arrogant kind of blatant attempt at coercing witnesses to watch all of it. In other words, there are no excuses here, brothers and sisters. You'd better watch the whole convention. And this, by the way, was a problem back in the day when I used to go to these conventions before they were all done on videos, <laughs> when they were just normal talks without playing videos. Um, you used to notice that there were fewer in attendance on the Friday, and this is the Friday. For obvious reasons, many people would still be working. Many people had, you know, jobs and needed to support their families. And then there would be a slight increase on the Saturday, and then finally another increase in attendance for the Sunday. They used to have a big problem. Back in the days when I was attending these conventions, in getting witnesses to sit through the whole thing, even though it was really expected of them, it was part of their religion, essentially, to make sure they were getting as much instruction from the faithful slave as possible. But doesn't this sort of show that you don't really have any choice when it comes to how much spiritual food you take in as a Jehovah's Witness? You have to take in all of it. And if you don't take in all of their spiritual food, if you don't bathe in this propaganda marathon they've engineered for you, it means you're not exerting enough effort. Then you have these overtly doomsday words by Jeffrey Jackson where he says, And during Armageddon, Jehovah will protect God's people and then give them the opportunity to live forever in paradise. I actually went back and checked at what point in the opening talk do these words appear. We are 
25 minutes into the convention and already it's doomsday fear-mongering. Already Jehovah's Witnesses are being not so subtly reminded that they'd better take this seriously or they'll be on the wrong end of a fireball at Armageddon. And thirdly, I wanted to draw your attention to what Jackson said when he said, As scriptures are read, follow along in the Bible. And may God's word empower you to be a man, woman or child of faith. I think this is significant because this shows who the intended audience is. These convention videos and these convention talks aren't just arranged for adults, they are arranged for men, women and children. And this has been an issue for the organisation. We've had evidence in the JW Broadcasting episodes, no less, that parents have been writing in and complaining about how inappropriate some of this convention material is. Material that clearly isn't age appropriate, material that shows violence and bloodshed. In fact, even in just this brief clip, we saw that grotesque footage of the police with assault weapons <laughs> closing in on this group of Jehovah's Witnesses who were huddled together in a field waiting for Jesus to come rescue them at Armageddon. I mean, that's nothing compared to some of the other stuff we've seen in previous conventions where you've had, for example, battlefields littered with corpses. This is material that has not been made with children in mind. And yet you have here, right at the beginning of the convention, a reminder from a governing body member, no, no, this isn't just for you parents. This isn't just for mature adults to watch. We want even your children to be watching this. 